Sonia podcast. Okay, everybody. What I heard is, I didn't know what to think. And I had asked people what they thought about it. Some people made jokes. But this is serious. This is, like, really, really serious. So I'm going to actually let y'all hear a clip. This is about oral sex. can cause throat cancer. Let me say that again. Oral sex can cause throat cancer. This is what doctors are warning. So I'm going to let y'all hear this clip real quick. New Riverdale Tricep Deep Dodge Wrap. Bigger savings, better selections, and the best showroom and sales consultants in New York. And if you're having credit problems, no problem. Riverdale can get you approved and drive in the very same day. It's our inventory reduction sales event where you can drive off with only $1 down and make no payments for 90 days. So remember, live in the Bronx, buy in the Bronx. Riverdale press the Jeep Dodge Ram. It's the season. So it says, oral sex is the X-rated copa behind a wave of throat cancer cropping up in the U.S. fueling a so-called epidemic. According to Hishman Mahana, a professor at the Institute of Cancer and Science at the University of Birmingham, said the HPV is to blame for... Oral pharyngeal cancer, the main risk factor is the number of lifetime sexual partners, especially oral sex. He wrote for the conversation Tuesday, cancer of the HPV link oral pharyngeal cancer, a type of throat cancer, rose annually by 1.3% in women and 2.8% in men from 2015 to 2019. The CDC estimated that 70% of oral pharyngeal cancer, which affects the tonsils, base of the tongue, and back of the throat, are caused by HPV infection in the U.S. Past studies have shown that multiple sexual partners could increase the risk of catching HPV and in turn develop mouth or throat cancer. In 2021, research discovered that people with 10 or more oral sex partners were more than four times more likely to develop HPV-related mouth and throat cancer. According to the data from the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, 41% of teens from 15 to 19 participate in oral sex. Young people ages 15 to 24 were responsible for nearly half of the 26 million new STD infection in 2018. HPV is one of the most common sexually transmitted infections, STIs, affecting an estimate of 42 million Americans. In fact, it is so prevalent, according to the CDC, that nearly all sexually active men and women get the virus at some point in their lives. Typically harmless, many people clear the virus on their own with no complication. The virus can lead to cervical or oropharyngeal cancer in some cases. However, a small number of people are not able to get rid of the infection, maybe due to a defect in a particular aspect of their immune system. In those patients, the virus is about to replicate continuously and over time integrates at random positions into the host DNA, some of which can cause the host cells to become cancerous. A UK study discovered that the county... In the country, female-only vaccine region could significantly reduce HPV-related oral pharyngeal cancer. Currently on the HPV vaccine is aimed at preventing reproduction cancer. Although the CDC says it does offer protection against the strains of virus that also cause oral pharyngeal cancer, the current guidance in the U.S. advises 11 and 12 year olds to receive two doses of HPV, but individuals from age 9 to 26 are approved to receive it. Yet, only about 54% of teens have received the vaccine, the, the vaccine in 
2020. Over 90% of HPV-associated cancers could be prevented with the HPV vaccination, yet vaccine untake remains, said Eric in a statement. His research for the American Association for Cancer Research published this month revealed the lack of knowledge around HPV. Yes. When I heard that, I was like, what? Oh, my God. Some people made jokes. Like, if I tell you the joke, I can't even tell you half of those jokes. Those jokes was so profound. When I say profound, like, so XX rated. So I couldn't even tell you what some people said. But they're saying this is serious. And that it's important that children... And adults get their HPV shots to try to prevent this from happening. So, um, yeah, make sure you get your shots to try to prevent this from happening. This was, this is crazy. Even though, like I said, a lot of people made jokes about it. They was, you know, everybody was laughing it up and made sexual jokes. But the doctor's saying this is serious and we need to take this serious. And I like to... You can call me here at SV7667528 at gmail.com. Follow me at SON.IA9795 Instagram. So you say talk on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest. Go to my website, http://wordpress.com. Follow my son's sounds on Instagram. We have an app on Apple, on Apple and Spotify. Follow Kings Flex. They have an app on SoundCloud. Follow Females Reform. They have a venture store in New York and have a blessed night. And don't forget to protect yourself. Always protect yourself in every way. I know my doctor was recently saying that um, when me and her was talking a long time ago, that there should be more knowledgeable about guys actually catching HPV. Um because they they make it weird it's like just women but actually it's men and women and at one time i have wanted her to come on to explain to everyone what that meant but then she um something happened where she said that um she had to do a little bit more research she was buying a new house it was like so much going on so she was wasn't able to come on and explain what were actually going on with men actually, boys and men actually having HPV. So, I don't know. I'm going to speak to her, see if she found the research. Like, I mean, I mean, I wanted her to come on so she can explain to everyone how can they do it or how can they go about it. But if she just have, like, information that can also protect men and young men, then I will ask her for the information and I could just give y'all the information how to protect yourselves and how to not spread this because this is a sexually transmitted disease. So it spreads from person to person. It's like, you know, contact. So um, if I could get more information on how it can help, because we as girls, we know what we need to do. We know that it is just not us who have HPV. It's also men and young men who have HPV that needs to also protect themselves, know what to do if they have it, know, you know, the symptoms of it. So, yeah, I'll find out information and I will let y'all know.